down the effects of this so that they are um, they, they change your decisions as a tank uh, player uh, but they don't leave you feeling like you're you're stuck or that you're you have no choices and uh, it's also worth noting that in open beta we actually only had the, the track damage enabled um, but we have turret damage that slows down your turret uh, if it gets the uh, um, damage enough uh, and we have engine damage so if you're an infantryman and you manage to sneak up on our tank there's a high likelihood that you can actually uh, make uh, cripple its, uh, its movement. And adding the turret feature will actually make it possible to sneak up on them. Yes. So that would be exactly. very... Add a whole other class, or a few other classes of vehicles that weren't in the open beta that sort of cover that area of the spectrum, mm -hmm. uh, the light tanks. The open beta were exactly the heavy tank and the medium tank. Um, but we have so many other experiences uh, lined up that I think people would be very excited to try out. Um, light tanks are supposed to be like uh, small, annoying harassers that, that outflank and stuff. And within that flow, I think people will start to also learn that like, hey, when we reach past the first flag and come to the second flag, this is where you actually need to start building resupply stations to kind of cement your ownership of the base and everything like yeah. that. So it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. The key um, one here is that we're adding uh, we call distance haze. Mm -hmm. It's not a fog. It's not there to hide anything. It's actually there to emphasize what's in front of it. Very subtle. Very subtle. Mm. Uh, you could see.